hey, I am fresh out of the bins. And I decided, why not keep thrifting? Because that sounds fun. Uh, for those of you new here, I am a full-time reseller on eBay. I do post on Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, Etsy, a little bit of everywhere. Um, but I get most of my items from the Goodwill bins, but I also do stop at Goodwill to see what they have. So we're stopping in today to see what we can find here. So let's go. I haven't been at this one in a few months, maybe? So, everything is very, oh my gosh, the racks are packed. Everything is very new, new to me anyway. Okay, we got a blue, colors blue, that's 50% off. I think my best find here is a Lululemon puffer vest. I did pay up, I guess you could say, for it. Um, I did pay $20, but I did sell it for, I think, $120, so. Oh, for dinner. I think I'm gonna look at hard goods. I might like take a peek at other things, but I'm just half price. $7.50. Also, it'll be a miracle if I don't get sick from today with how many people are literally just like coughing in my face. I know you all are invested, so. Hmm. I wonder who makes this. It says it's made in China. Um, but it is half price. Oh geez, it's been here almost a year. Where was this hiding? Okay. $2.99 Little set $4.99 Made in Japan $6.99 Dingaling Can we do that instead, please? That is really cool. $3.99. That is fun. I might get that. Spiderman pins. $3.99. Okay. I think I'm going to go down the not this aisle. Um office aisle and see what I can find down there and then we'll make our way through to the rest. These are tools, which I'm not a fan, so there they are. Let's just give you an example of the price. $15. Okay, office aisle. Office craft aisle. Oh my. You can get a whole pack for $4.99 but half off for $2.50. For all the cards. Ooh, this one's kind of fun. This one is not half price, but it is $3.99. That I wonder what that is in there. I might open it up and see. 
Let's take a little peek. Take a little peeky peek. Stamps galore. I think I remember this from last time. It was like a stamp explosion. And they were all priced not the best. It was like $7.99 for a stamp. But that's how you kind of keep them longer than you want. Okay, we got some baskets. Not really interested in that. Okay. Let's look on this side. Ooh, they got a lot of hole punches too. locked I'm pretty sure so there's not much you can do with it take me away it's very 90s looking 199 made in Korea 199 Loves me, three ninety-nine. Okay, I'm ready for the next dial. Ten dollars. It's really pretty. Crystal made in Germany, three ninety nine. Okay, let's go down here. Disney Japan, $3.99. Little poodle fella. His little schnauzer's a little broken, but he is a dollar. How much are you people? A dollar each. Wow, that's quite reasonable. It's like a whole family. China, $1.99. Oh, look at him. He is cute. Made in Japan. He is a dollar. Adorable. Oh, he should go with his family over here. Okay.
Mount Clemens Pottery, one ninety-nine. It's actually kind of fun. I'll look that up. I'll look it up. Dollar seven ninety-nine. Flowers ink balloons. Oh, there's more. He has friends. Him. And him. Oh, they're cute. I might have to get to them. We'll see. Okay, let me keep looking down here. I swear, I see these every time. Someone made a little fishy bank. This is kind of cool. Four ninety nine. Buckman. I shall look up the Buckman. What is in here? a bunch of little figures for $2.99. $1.99. Her eyes are like pure black. Alright, that's terrifying. Gourmet Collection Gorum $4.99, but half price on that one. This is. Oh. I thought they were kind of like glued down. $6.99 for all three. I. Are they just like little candle things you put in there? These are $2.99. What are you? Like Velcro them somewhere. Oof, lots of broken pieces on that. Something porcelain, $7.99. Pretty broken, unfortunately. Ooh, I've sold these bookends before, they're super cute. I probably wouldn't again. And it looks like they want $4.99 a piece. Seal family. Mm -hmm. That is kind of fun. Mervyn's not for food use. It's a dollar. but it's half price. Please don't. Just... I 
1997. Is that the brand, maybe? Possibly. I'll look that up. And I'll give it a little testy test. This one's the same brand, also half price. But no price. They are interesting, aren't they? Nine ninety nine. Decanter. Kind of pretty. One ninety nine. What's that say? Dorothy. Something. Two thousand one. That doesn't look like it's from two thousand one. $4.99. What are you? Reveal yourself. These are fun. $9.99. It must be broken. $4.99. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. They know what they were trying to accomplish, but there it is. $3.99. Oh, these are interesting. Oh, there was water in them. $4.99. What would you do with this? There's like a little water in there. Hmm. It is ten dollars. Huh, wonder what what you do with that. Okay, let's take a look down this side. Oh, 
another little cute box. Someone made it. These are always fun. I don't know what, oh, this broke off evidently. I don't know where it was supposed to be. But this is, oops, $7.99. Six ninety nine. Oh. Might Google Lens that. Oh, mine. Both of their ears are broken. many things. These are vintage little M&M's tins. Hmm, I'll look that up too. These are nice. $4.99. So it's five a piece for them, so 15 Those are nice. They're like heavy duty. I saw those. Okay, I think I'm going to go down in the next aisle. Prepare yourself. Okay, so far we're keeping everything. I also found this really fun candle. Um, and it's a dollar. So I'm adding that to the cart as well. Oh, they're pricing them all individually now probably because it's hard to find someone who wants to buy all of it because they used to sell it by the whole thing oh. $4.99 it's really pretty craftsman china made in japan orchid Casa. Ooh, two ninety nine a mug. That seems a little steep. You don't even get a plate with it. Oh, jeez. Creative Fine China Japan. Oh, these are all half price. All half price on those. And the massive, actually all of them from this pattern are half priced. What are you? I don't even know. Uh, Mikasa Fromage $4.99. Johnson Brothers. Uh, what are you? Day in June. 
$3.99 for the sugar, $3.99 for the creamer, the little mini bowls, $6.99, oops, $2.99, nothing broke, nothing broke, I promise. These are pretty. Germany, seven ninety nine. They definitely have their gold rubbed quite a bit. From a friend made in Germany. $2.99 but half price. $1.50 on that one. <coughs> they have a lot of mugs. Mesa International, $2.99. $4.99. Mickey with the letter C. Don't fall. Please. Oh, that's pretty. Made in 1984. 199 Does this say Lancaster go last one? A dollar a piece on those. Lots and lots and lots and lots of wine glasses. We are in wine country, so it definitely makes sense. Oh, these are fun. One ninety nine a piece. There's like different styles. Those are also $1.99 a piece. Oh, those are fun. Oh, someone painted that one. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to move on. I think I looked at this. Stuff. I have this at home. Four ninety nine. Take a look at this stuff. Seven ninety nine. Okay, someone thinks this cow is special. Fastoria. Four ninety nine. So they will be two fifty each. I shall get those. These 
are voids. It's interesting they're marking them up so high. Okay, what do we have down here? Oh, these are cute. It's a little like, I don't even know, a little bucket and Detroit Zoological Park souvenir. I'll get those. It's two dollars. Dollar a piece. are interesting. Salt and pepper. These are also two dollars. I think I'll get those. Yikes. Uh, half price. I don't know if that's Pyrex or not. Avon, $6.99. That Avon just makes everything. Oh, this is cute. $4.99. Hmm. No. I'll probably be doing another sweep through off camera and look up a few things. That's interesting. Um, it's three ninety nine, made in Japan, so it is vintage. Hmm. Might get that on the radar. Fultz Graph, $2.99. You are interesting and strange. Patent number, blah, blah, made in Japan, $4.99. This is kind of cool, too. Um, Furio, $7.99. Pottery Barn, $12.99. Do I want to ship this? Not particularly. But I'll take a picture, and if it's high seller and worth $12.99, I might get it. So I'm just going to put it. I don't know what this goes to. Um, I'm just going to put it in here for now. And so that will be a question. Question mark. dollars. Can you just buy it at Target for that? Tropical juicer. It's four ninety nine. I'm kinda curious. I might look that up a little. Bacado. Hmm. 
man. Bake and serve casserole. Hmm. Someone made this cow parsnip four ninety nine. Okay, I'm gonna look up that big plate and then maybe a few other things in this aisle, and then I will be back. Okay, Pottery Barn went back. Back. Um, it looks like it's posted for around 30 to 40, so definitely not worth it for me anyway. And it's $12.99. Oh, someone spray painted this. And it's broken. There's a lot going on there. Um, it's also $10. We have a lot of lamps. These are fun. It's plastic. Ten dollars a piece on those. Oh, look at this one. They kept the shade with it. Oh, and they want twenty dollars. What color though? Oh, oh, never one they want. 15. It's a pretty lamp. That is interesting. I don't know how much they want for this. 15 for that one. Oh, that is very interesting. Um, where's your price tag? Are you up here? Yes. Uh, ten on that one. You saw this one as not as great. I might do a Google image of it. Oh, there's a little signature. Um, I might look that up. See if I want to get that. I shouldn't be buying an insane amount of lamps. But I think I only have maybe... Four? F no, I want it. Yeah, maybe four. Like maybe four in inventory. Okay, you, you are all so fun. What is going on here? Oh, someone added like an extender of, I don't know. This one is also 10. I might do a Google image of that one as well. This one is seven. I feel I've seen this one before. Oh, they do not see it as valuable. $6.99, 50% off, so $3.50 for that one. Okay, I'm gonna look up those lamps and then I will be back and let you know. That's a good idea. So lamps, the lamps sell for about 40 to 50, maybe a little more, but not really worth it. Paco Martinez. Um, so, ooh, Paco. Are you expensive? Um, so I left those. Mm. 
Valerie Stevens. Got it. An eel skin wallet. It is missing a zipper on the inside. It's a little um scuffed up. Travel wallet. So oh, yes, it was a no on the left. I'm only getting lamps. I've decided if it's pretty high profit. Because it is a decent amount of work. And I have to store them. Yada yada. Look with the heart. $6.99. Don't know about that. I think they pick through their bags and send them to the online. This is $19.99, but it is blue, so it's half, so it is 10 for a red, white, and blue sack. I don't know. What the fuck? I'm not really passionate about that. Mark New York. Rosetti. Mm, that's cute. Mm, Four ninety nine. Mm, let's take a little quick glance at the quilts. Uh, nothing exceptional. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the shoes. I'll let you know if I find anything amazing. What are these? A little curtain. They are half price though, so three fifty. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, let's do a little recap. Also, they have a ton of these here. But they're 50% off, so they're only $5 a piece. I might look those up. I think the other Goodwill I went to, they had them priced at $15. Um, but they might be worth a pickup if they're $5 a piece. Um, I'll double check on that before I go. But let me show you the things I am picking up today. I have a wooden salt and pepper set, shaker set. They're a dollar a piece, so $2 for those. Next is a little bucket and oh oh it's missing a stopper um it was from the detroit zoo park one dollar each on those i don't know what it's like a little bucket and a i don't know i don't know but it's cute um next is a little like stained glass a box it's branded Buckman on the bottom I don't know if that means anything but it is $5 so I am going to give that a go next a set of Fostoria hand I don't know what I was going to call them. Uh, candlestick holders. They are $4.99 a piece, but they are 50% off. So essentially $4.99 for both of them. And they have their sticker still, which is really nice. Next is a little box. That's like carved. It is definitely older. Uh, I don't really know much about it. It is $3.99, so I am going to give it a go. I like... I like some boxes, what can I say? Uh, next, a little trio of some vintage M&M &M mini tins. They kind of go for all over the place, but for a dollar, I am going to get those. Next is like a painted stained glass rose uh, mug with a little top 
And there's Mount Clemens Pottery, $1.99 for that. Next is a Wurlitzer Carousel. I do need to double check. Oh, his ear. I just saw that. Okay, well, probably not getting him. Um, but he... I think the brand sells relatively well. $6.99, um, 50% off of that. These I'm also not sure about. I'm probably going to open it up and just take a little peek. Um, what exactly is in here. Because I'm curious what these little Victorian things are. But it is $3.99 for the pack. So I'm going to check on that. And then we have this vintage candle. I just think it's amazing. Like a marriage, I assume. Ceremony candle? I don't know. Uh, $1.99 but half price. So a dollar on that. So I'm pretty happy with our little minus that. No. Um, little stash of stuff we're gonna get. And then again, I am gonna look some of these up because I forgot what they sell for. But if it's worth 50% off, I might grab some of those because that might be worth it. But other than that, not bad. It's funny because when I go to the bins, I have a massive overflowing cart for like 60 bucks. And then I'll go to like a normal Goodwill and I'll spend 60 for like, you know, 10 items maybe. So it is, it's hard when you get used to going to the bins to go to a regular Goodwill and be okay with the prices, I guess you could say. But all my stuff is posted on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, I would so appreciate it so much. Alright, until the next time we are treasure hunting, I'll see you later.